Welcome back to our weekly environmental news report. First news. Last week, San Francisco became the first city in the U.S. to require that certain new buildings be installed with a green roof, an eco-friendly design that sows plants above a roof line. The new law requires between 15 to 30 percent of roof space on most new construction projects to incorporate solar, green roofs, or both, and will go into effect January. Green roofs reduce stormwater runoff, improve air quality, and help mitigate the urban heat island effect. For building tenants and owners, green roofs reduce the need for heating and cooling. They can also provide food and a recreational area for residents. In addition, green roof legislation is being passed elsewhere in the world, such as Argentina, France, and Germany. Researchers have just found a way to produce electricity from wood pulp waste. Wood pulp is partly made of cellulose nanofibers, and with the right chemicals added, these nanofibers can actually produce a charge when they come into contact with untreated fibers. According to lead researcher Shi Dong Wang at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, the boards work by simply placing two differently charged materials next to each other, one being the treated cellulose nanofibers. When the materials touch each other through the vibration of footsteps, electrons move from one layer to the other, which creates a charge imbalance. They are then passed through an external circuit, and energy is generated. This means that we could one day power lights and batteries just by the force of our footsteps on floorboards. Wood pulp waste is also cheap and plentiful, so it would not be expensive. Delegates from 24 countries and the European Union have agreed that the Ross Sea in Antarctica will become the world's largest marine protected area, or MPA. The proposal, introduced by New Zealand and the U.S., will see a general protection no-take zone, where nothing can be removed, including marine life and minerals, except for special research zones. The region is important to the rest of the planet, as the upwelling of nutrients from the deep waters are carried on currents around the world, and is also home to most of the world's penguins and whales. Ross Sea is the first marine park created in international waters and is a step towards the IUCN's recommendation that 30% of the world's oceans be protected. We often don't think of the environment when talking about ISIS, but its scorched earth policy is creating environmental pollution, which adds more danger to the humanitarian crisis sparked by the military offensive in Mosul. Fumes from burning stockpiles of sulfur dioxide and oil wells that have been set ablaze have led to further suffering for civilians in northern Iraq. The burning crude oil is also releasing a wide range of pollutants, including soot and gases that cause skin irritation and shortness of breath. According to UN Environment Chief Eric Solheim, this is sadly just the latest episode in what has been the wholesale destruction of Iraq's environment over several decades. UNEP is working closely with partners in Iraq to respond to the urgency of environmental damage from armed conflict. Tesla CEO and billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk unveiled solar roof tiles that eliminate the need for traditional panels and a longer lasting home battery, which Tesla calls the Powerwall. Each of their four different styles resembles fairly closely a current roofing material style, and each is also transparent to solar but appears opaque when viewed from an angle. As they're made from quartz glass, they should last much longer than an asphalt tile, at least two or three times the longevity. Tesla claims that cost would be less than a conventional roof plus solar, and also that the shingles would be more durable and have better insulation qualities than conventional roofing. This was part of Musk's showcasing of new energy products aimed at illustrating the benefits of combining his firm with solar installer Solar City. Thank you for watching. See you next week. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more environmental news every week.